This is the famous Room Channel. In September of 2019, Jacob Roloff married Isabel Rock, his longtime girlfriend and the love of his life. But who is she? How did they meet? Watch on and find out. Isabel Rock was born on February 19, in 1996. She's 24 years old. Like her husband Jacob Roloff, she grew up in Oregon. These days, she and Jacob are largely inseparable. Though some write-ups have characterized how these two met as unclear, Isabel herself has explained how she came to know Jacob. Jacob is a year younger than she is, but they attended the same high school and rode the bus together. Isabel immediately noticed that there was a super cute guy on her bus and the two struck up a friendship that lasted and blossomed into a romance. Jacob has had some issues with his family in the past, some very fair resentments that have since been addressed. Isabel in the meantime is incredibly close with her family. Izzy often posts about her father and about her brother Nico, whom she describes as her best friend. On a sadder note, Isabel's mother is no longer in the picture. She passed away in 2014 after a battle with breast cancer. Isabel has expressed an interest in writing a book about her mother and their experiences together before her mom's death. As we all remember, Jacob stormed off of Roloff Farms when he was 18, furious at how his parents had controlled his life and forced him into reality television. After that, he and Isabel traveled together in their van. The two share a passion for art. Jacob favors the written world, while Isabel favors visual art. It is believed that Isabel actually played a role in Jacob's move to slowly reconcile with his family. After so many years with no control over the direction of his own life, he of course needed time to heal and process things. But when he returned, he had Isabel by his side. After Jacob extended the olive branch, Amy Roloff made sure that he and Izzy both felt welcome. Amy even used her platform to show off Isabel's art gallery to her substantial social media following. This was not just a promo for Isabel's art, but an endorsement of her and of her relationship with Amy's son. One can easily see why Isabel would encourage Jacob to make peace with his family. First of all, though he had every right to be angry, it was clear that he loved them and she wanted to see him fulfill his potential for happiness. But on top of that, losing her own mother painfully illustrated how no one can take family for granted. You never know if you can reconcile later. Of course, Jacob's return into the lives of his family members was not without a few hiccups. In particular, he has a very different worldview than his sister-in-law Audrey, who has referred to young people as this twisted generation. While Isabel and Jacob see eye to eye, Izzy went so far as to promote Audrey's brand on social media in order to hammer out peace in the family. In 2018, Isabel and Jacob took a trip to Iceland. It was a lovely vacation and Isabel herself confessed that she had a strong feeling that Jacob was going to propose. So strong was her hunch that she wrote down a note so that when the time came, she would be able to prove it. That time did come and Jacob proposed too easy. Isabel then presented him with the evidence that she had seen it coming. They know each other so well. She also of course said yes and went on to share that sweet story in detail. In 2019, Jacob and Isabel were married. Though their marriage had scarcely begun, many fans believe that they will be together for life. They have similar views and goals and they have so much shared history. Not everyone marries their partner from high school, but these two are living the dream. Jacob's black sheep reputation has faltered somewhat among fans of Little People Big World in recent years. Part of that has come from the way that fans see him interacting with his family, from Amy to his young nieces and nephews. But part of that has been the way that Izzy's presence has softened the way that he's perceived. As we acknowledged, not everyone gets to marry the person with whom they fell in love in high school. That's because few people are lucky to find the right person for them at such a young age. We look forward to watching the marriage story of Jacob and Izzy continue to unfold. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.